guys and welcome to my channel my name is Sonia and you're watching domestic diva DIY are you guys looking for any ideas on how to create a doormat on a budget well I have one super cute one for you I wanted a fresh new doormat for fall and into Halloween and because the one that I got at Dollar Tree was a bit too light and kept blowing away so what I did, I picked up a mat at Dollarama for $3. Dollarama is a Canadian dollar store. And then I downloaded an image for Cricut. I will link it down below. I cut it on vinyl uh, that I already had. And um, however, I didn't have a mat long enough, the cutting mat, so I taped two um two mats together to create a long mat this is not ideal but it is what worked for me at this time uh, then i cut the image using my Cricut maker on the stencil vinyl Once I was done, I pulled away all of the lettering, so I created a stencil. You could also print the image on a cardstock and use a craft knife to cut out the stencil if you don't have a Cricut. It's definitely handy to have one, but you don't need one to create this mat. Uh, now I'm taking... transfer tape and putting it on a stencil on so that way when I transfer it it is all perfectly lined up and I can see where the lettering and the image is going and it's also smooth I use the flattening tool to make sure everything is sticking together and then I remove the backing of the stencil So like I said, I got the mat from Dollarama uh, for $3 and I'm placing the stencil on the mat and removing the transfer tape. Uh, like any textured mat, it may be a little tricky to remove the transfer tape, but be patient and go nice and slow and you'll get there.
Then I take acrylic paint in white, orange, and yellow. And also I use my chalk paint in cocoa from Rust-Oleum and I stamp it on just using a foam brush. Then once you're done, you simply remove the stencil. I did have to go over the cocoa uh, with bubble gum pen just to brighten it up a bit to show up more. I also use finishing spray and spray the rug so it protects the life of the paint on the rug. So here it is, I think it turned out absolutely cute. I love uh, uh, the Sanderson sisters, obviously the Hocus Pocus, which is the, the theme of the rug. And I think uh, people are gonna get a kick out of it because I smell children and I do run a home daycare, so I think it kind of goes side to side. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I will link anything that I can find down below that I used. And until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe if you're not and press the notification bell. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.